Person perception is defined as the process by which the individual receives and interprets information about another individual. Perception is a tool that employers use to look beyond the surface of their employees. Many would assume that the perceptual process is a passive process when in fact it requires much activity on the part of both the subject and the perceiver. The perceiver actively selects and processes information from the surrounding environment. Because of this process, the perceiver actively constructs an overall impression of the subject being evaluated. The accuracy of perception is quite important in the business world today when it comes to interviewing, evaluating, or simply talking with employees. The ability to effectively read body language can be a major asset to an employer. Research indicates that most people are able to identify specific emotions from facial expressions. Many facial expressions are universally recognized. A smile, eye contact, and genuine expressions can all be signs of a person telling the truth. Nonverbal cues are also essential in situations where people are formally evaluated. Maintaining substantial eye contact, sitting up straight, smiling a great deal, and leaning toward the interviewer can all be signs leading to a positive evaluation. Nonverbal cues can also reveal a great deal about nervousness or incompetence. Posture shifts, scratching, excessive blinking, or frequent licking of the lips can be interpreted as possible deceit, but we'll get into that a little bit later. Today we are going to present you with an interview conducted by Munder Difflin, a local and respectable IT security company. The executive is looking to fill the open position of systems analyst, and he needs to determine through accurate perception who the most competent person for the job is. Let's take a look at our first subject, Milton Wadhams. Keep in mind facial expressions and nonverbal cues. Come on in. Hey, Milton, Tyler. Hi, hello. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Have a seat. All right, Milton. Well, uh, I did receive your resume here. We're going to go over a couple questions to see uh, how you qualify for this job. All right. All right, you ready? Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, Mr. Wadhams, first question I have for you is why, uh, why are you applying for this position? Well, I like um, computers and all that electronical stuff. Okay, computers, that's good. We got, a, we got a, quite a few of those here. Um, if you like computers too, why do you think you'd be a valuable asset to this company? Um, I no longer live at home with my mother, so I'm really right, available. Right here, Milton. Yeah. You talking to me? Yeah. Okay, you live, you live with your mother? You don't I, live with your mother? I don't not. Okay, well, I guess that's a good thing. You'll always be free. Yes, sir. Okay. Well, uh, Milton, one other question here. What other kind of job experience do you have? Um, I used to work at uh, Inlitech. Inlitech? It's until the building burned down. I'm yeah. no longer employed there. I heard that building yes. burned down. Do you, how'd that happen? Um, it's still a mystery. Still a mystery, huh? Yes. Okay, well, hopefully we wouldn't run any of those incidences here at uh, Thunder Mifflin. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, uh, Mr. Wadhams, we'll be keeping in touch, okay? All right. All right. Thank you. From that interview, we can say with confidence that Milton won't be getting that job. Milton's posture was terrible, and he shifted around in his seat quite frequently. The overall condition of his body language was terrible. He also failed to maintain continuous eye contact with the executive. This could be a sign of nervousness, or maybe just a character defect. The executive was successful at accurately perceiving Milton's distorted facial expressions and nonverbal cues. He can therefore cross him off the list of applicants. Deception can be a useful weapon when applying for a job. Using facial expressions and nonverbal cues to distract or deceive an employer is quite common. Appearance or physical attractiveness can contribute to perceptual judgments. Generally, physically attractive people are seen as more sociable, intelligent, and socially skilled than those who are less attractive. Physical beauty combined with tactful body language can maximize one's chances of getting hired for a job. Our next interview will show how an executive's inaccurate perception combined with deceptive tactics can earn someone a job position. Our next subject is Pamela Manderson. Come on in. Hello. Hello. Pamela, I take it? Pamela Manderson. Tyler. Nice, nice to, to meet Tyler. you, Pamela. How are you doing today? Very well, thank you. Very good. Uh, Pamela, just a couple of questions for you today. Um, why you'd be applying for this job? Well, I have a lot of, I've done a lot of work in this, this line of business, and I just feel like I could be an asset to this company. An asset, yes, a very valuable asset, I believe, mm -hmm. right? Okay, how would you be a very valuable asset to this company? Well, actually, I helped Bill Gates invent Microsoft, so I have a lot of experience with computers. 
lots of experience with computers. That's yes, good sir. too. That's what, you know, it's okay. Um, well, uh, Pamela, one other question. What other work experience do you have? Um, well, I worked at a Red Robin in high school. But oh, Red Robin. Yeah. Since then, really, when me and Bill Gates hit it off, it just, it just was big. Bill Gates, huh? Mm -hmm. Well, you do sound like you have lots of experience, and we could probably use someone like you around here. Um, Pamela, I'm really glad you stopped in. You look fabulous. Uh, we will be contacting you, and if you need any, uh, if you have any other questions, here's my uh, personal phone number. Just uh, go ahead and give me a call anytime. Oh, thank you so much, right. Tyler. Nice. As you just saw, our executive's perception was distorted due to the physical attractiveness of Miss Manderson. Pamela also used deliberate nonverbal cues to evoke a positive interview experience. She was poised towards the executive and maintained a constant level of eye contact. Prolonged eye contact, such as staring, has a socially arousing but disruptive effect on employees. Will she be getting the job? Time will tell. Inaccurate perception can also be caused by misleading or distorted information relying solely on the perceiver. We will next take a look at some obstacles to accurate perception. There are many barriers to the accurate perception of others' behavior, but let us take, for example, stereotyping. Stereotypes are judgments of others that are based on group membership. Attributes such as gender, race, ethnic group, or age are commonly held stereotypes. Popular stereotypes are not always inaccurate or worthless, but they may not hold true for any given individual. Let's see how stereotyping can affect a perfectly qualified individual looking for a job. The next interviewee is Steve Binyamin.